In this video, we're looking at Droidian on a Pixel 3a. Droidian is a derivative of Mobian, which is a mobile version of Debian. Here we see the lock screen, and we'll have a look at some of the basic functions of Droidian. So you can slide down the quick settings from the top. We can see that Wi-Fi is connected. And the brightness works, though there's no auto brightness setting that I could find. There's also a power menu and a lock. So again, swiping up from the lock screen allows you to unlock the device. And let's look at the tutorial. So it tells you how to navigate the operating system, which is fairly functional, though off the bat, I do have a tendency to want to swipe the edges as on Ubuntu Touch, but that is not available on Droidian. So let's look at some of the basic functions of this mobile operating system. First, the phone function. In its current state, you are able to make calls and the loudspeaker is working. Volume control works within the call. As for the mute and hold functions, I'm not sure, but basic calling seems to work just fine. There's also an option to add VoIP accounts, voice over IP, but I didn't have an account to test, so I'm not sure of that current state. For messaging, SMS, there is an app that seems to work like a basic SMS app. And that is also functioning. We'll see once we get a notification here. So as per the tutorial, to swipe and close apps, you swipe up from the top, though I found this a little bit awkward. So here is a notification coming in. And to reply to the message, you would as normal. So for a very basic communications device, calling and texting, Droidian works on the Pixel 3a. Again, I found I really wanted to close all the apps when returning to the home screen because the open apps take up so much space on the screen. So Firefox is installed by default. So some of the apps that you might find on a regular Debian operating system are available. Here, by turning off Wi-Fi, mobile data does not work by default. So if you long press on the quick settings, it should open the setting. So here I'm switching on mobile data, but I have to add the APN manually. This was the same case on Ubuntu Touch. 
So once I've added the settings for my carrier, I am able to select the APN and then mobile data will function. There are a few other network settings that you might have to choose manually. As you can see, sometimes the screen is not so responsive. So now with mobile data connected to the proper APN, we should be able to browse the internet in the browser. And we can see that it's working. So you have the option to switch to landscape mode it doesn't switch automatically when you rotate the device. The flashlight function is also working and it's interesting it has a slider though it's either on or it's off. There are a few other advanced settings that you might find on a Debian OS system. Like Ubuntu Touch, there's also a terminal here called console. Although I didn't find it had that tap for tab function, which I really liked on Ubuntu Touch. Now the camera. I couldn't get the camera to work. I'm not sure if it's just not functional or I had to turn on another setting, but the camera does not work currently on Droidian and the Pixel 3a. Maps is working. One thing I noticed was that the GPS location seemed to work quite quickly. On Ubuntu Touch, I noticed it took a long time for it to connect. Here, it's almost instant. There's an additional mobile settings, and it's interesting to see there's a convergence option. Presumably, if you had it connected to a dock, I suppose it could turn into a full Debian desktop OS. Here's another monitor app, which is kind of neat. To get other apps, there is an app store, though it, there's not really 
much that I could find in here that wasn't already installed. You can also update the system over the air from this app store. And it updates quite seamlessly. There's a screenshot app, but here you can see it doesn't quite fit the screen. This is where I found using that landscape mode, I could access the buttons properly but there's definitely some work to be done in this area. So Bluetooth is functioning to a certain level. You're able to scan for devices and in some cases connect to them. Here I'm trying to connect to these wireless earbuds. So after fidgeting for a bit, I was able to connect them, but I did not have any sound coming through the earbuds. So it could be a device specific thing with Bluetooth. Normally Bluetooth is an issue on any kind of device, so I wouldn't rely on it heavily at this stage. Here I'm testing a video to see if the audio is coming through, but it was not working. I also found that video playback in this installed browser did not seem to work very well. But video playback does work on Firefox. So here I'm running into some crashes and there are still some buggy bits for sure.
It looks like I've caused things to crash. As I mentioned before, even though the camera has some permission settings here, I was not able to get the camera functioning. But it's neat to see that there is a privacy area right in the settings. So that's the current state of Droidian on a Pixel 3a, but it looks like a very interesting mobile operating system. If you're looking for a very pure Debian-like experience on mobile, then this has a lot of potential. Lastly, I'll note that I was able to install Droidian from the UbiPorts installer. I found that option accidentally while trying to install Ubuntu Touch. So the installer allows you to try out a couple different operating systems on this device. Thanks again for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave a comment or question below.